Welcome to the first video on my new channel, Points in the Paint. Well, first of all, happy Thanksgiving to all the viewers in the US and I guess happy Thursday to everybody else. My name is Stefan and as you can probably tell, I'm from Germany. So, guten Tag und moin moin an alle. Well, I would say I'm probably somewhat of an artist. I love to paint and I really love sports. Ergo, on this channel, I'm going to show you my favorite magic tricks. No, obviously I'm going to paint my favorite athletes, but I thought that was, you know, kind of obvious, but whatever. Moving on, I've been thinking a lot about who my first video should be all about. Well, right now I'm doing semester abroad at the University of Memphis, and since I'm a really big basketball and NBA fan, I thought the logical choice would, of course, be someone from the Memphis Grizzlies. Well, and honestly, there is no other choice to go with but John Morant. I mean, this dude is just... Phenomenal. The guy is not just one of the best young players in the entire NBA, but he's also one of the most exciting. He can literally fly. So, all that was left to do was to find a canvas. I brought my paints, brought my brush, and well, then I just started painting. So, this video is going to be all about the painting process. Kind of a step-by-step -step guide of what I did. If you're more like, Stefan, this all sounds totally interesting, but I just really want to see the time-lapse video without any commentary, that's totally fine, I get that. I got that right here for you. Well, without further ado, let's get to the fun part. Okay, so I started off with the arms. And in John Moran's case, that was, you know, quite time consuming. Let's be honest, he has a lot of tattoos. Obviously, that made the painting much more interesting, but unfortunately also much more time consuming. Well, it took me quite some time to figure out all the tiny details on his arms and overall I spent a whopping 12 and a half hours on this painting. So yeah. Patience was needed. Then of course I started doing the face, and I always say the face is really what makes or breaks a painting. Yeah, I just love when you can pay a lot of attention to the small details, you know, the facial hair, the expression on his face, the eyes. Yeah, and in this case I think the further it comes along you can really see, oh yeah, well, that's John Morant. So next up was the jersey. Honestly, my favorite part of the entire painting. Well, here you can see me do some small details on the color of the jersey and honestly, I really love the overall color scheme that the Memphis Grizzlies got going on here. This mix of baby blue and some darker shades of blue, I really love it. Overall, I have to say that I couldn't exactly match the color that I saw in the picture, but I think it still works. So yeah, once the jersey was done, all I had to do was to finish the shorts and then add some paint splatters for the background. And et voila, there it is. So yeah, overall I think I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah, I think all that's missing now is John Moran's signature and I've tried to reach out but you know, they are kind of hard to get, especially during the season. So I mean, yeah, Ja, if you're watching this, I'll bring it to you, no worries, Just you just sign. So uh, yeah, how do you guys like it? Uh, please let me know in the comments below what you think and how you think it turned out. I would say for the first project on this channel, pretty solid. Yeah, and if you want to watch the full timeless video, as I mentioned before, I have that one linked in the info box. So yeah, if you like what I'm doing here, consider giving this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. That way you will definitely be notified once my next project is ready. Well, also if you think uh, that looks kind of cool, I would like to have that hanging on my own wall. Well, I got good news for you. In the video description, you can find a link to my new art shop on fineartamerica.com. There you can order your own high quality prints of this painting and some of the others that I've done in the past. Also, let me know in the comments down below what my next project should be. Honestly, I have already filmed one, and just a quick tease. Soccer fans better get excited for this one. Well, that's it for me. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.